Hi, I'm Heidi Reynolds and I'm a volunteer for the National Trust. I volunteer down at the watch point at Lizard Point. Um, Lizard Point is the most southerly point of mainland UK. Now what's special about me volunteering, you might think? I have Parkinson's, I was diagnosed when I was 37 and that just hasn't phased the National Trust at all. And I get to share these incredible wildlife, this in these incredible images for real in lifetime with members of the public, which I absolutely love. And to know that the National Trust aren't phased at all by my disability, which is exactly what it is, is phenomenal. So I get to enjoy this. I get to share my passion of wildlife with the public, which I love. And obviously Parkinson's is something that comes with so many different facets. It can be very difficult to manage. And as I said, it just has not phased the National Trust at all found another passion this year sea glass art um, sea glass pottery all that sort of thing and there's some sea glass just about to come up on the screen so I get to clean up the beaches which obviously helps out the National Trust again helps out the wildlife because these guys don't want to be crawling over this stuff I get to get up at the crack of dawn because with Parkinson's you don't sleep well anyway so this makes the best of that and I get to see these fantastic sunrise I met Lucy from the National Trust Trilisic, which is near Truro, and I explained a lot of the cognitive issues and other hidden problems that I have, and Lucy really went the extra mile, and it led me to this decision. So here's Lucy and I. Um, hi, I'm with Lucy from the National Trust, who's been absolutely amazing and really helpful, um, and despite me, obviously, you know, having Parkinson's, finding things really difficult, Lucy's really gone the extra mile. Um, so um, I've made this um, for Trilistic House and for Lucy, really, um, just to say thank you. Um, it says on it, finding the common ground. It's come from the top, um, obviously from the boss of the National Trust, and I think it's an amazing phrase that actually really does cover exactly what Lucy's done for me. So thank you very much, Lucy. I really appreciate it. And obviously we're going to give 10% of our profits that we make, hopefully, um, to the National Trust as well. So thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Hey, thank you very much. And thank you for being a part of what we're doing here at Christmas. It really means a lot. And it's nice to have volunteers from other properties join us. And we really appreciate that support for us as well. Thank, thank you. you. No, that's great. Thanks very much. It's great. Cheers. Thank you. So thankfully, with all the extra help, I was able to actually get ready for this. And it wasn't just because I was a volunteer, it's also because they're just so good at helping people within the National Trust. And I've created these from a lot of things that I found in and around the Helford near where I live. We did make a profit um, and thank you so much to anybody that may be listening to this that did buy from my store because it was absolutely amazing listening to not just people buying stuff and where those gifts were going but to also to such amazing feedback um, but we decided that we wanted to keep um, the project close to home and relevant the 10 percent we decided to give to national trust glenn durgan who currently have an appeal running for a maze um, that they have within there that needs further work doing to it all packed up and ready to go home um, yeah, well, it's just been such a lovely response. It's been fantastic. So if you have something you'd like to try in the new year, I urge you to volunteer for the National Trust or try a new hobby too. National Trust, or as I like to call it, no trouble. <laughs>